Hi guys, this is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. In today's video, I'm sharing with you four style rules to live by. Things that I share with clients and information to truly change and elevate or make your style and your outfit overall look better. So these are easy, simple tricks you can wear with any type of outfit, can be very high end, can be simple, basic things that you put on, but really can are great tips that can transform your look and really change up what you're doing with these four easy, simple steps. The first thing would be that accessories truly make an outfit and can make just basic pieces such as a sweater and jeans or a simple top and pants or leggings truly stand out and look different. So in winter time, my favorite thing to have for clients or things I put on for myself is you can add a simple hat. So for example, you can add a fedora hat onto your outfit, instantly kind of elevates, makes it look more pulled together when you pair that with a sweater or a blazer and top or any sort of simple t-shirt or sweatshirt. Really changes up your look for winter and with that bolder style, really elevates it and makes it stand out. The next piece you can think about adding in terms of hats is to add a Baker Boy hat. So this one here I have has a little touch of leather on the end, is velvet, but really adding a Baker Boy hat also kind of gives it sort of that, or you can choose a beret, really kind of gives it sort of that French European but pulled together stylish look that women who have hats tend to have. So if it's not winter time or something you can do year round is adding a belt onto any of your outfits. So this instantly kind of changes and elevates your look simply by adding a different unique style belt. So think about a belt that has an interesting bolder design buckle or it has some kind of interesting texture or weave to it. So for example, this is a new belt that I purchased. What I really liked about it is that it has this rhinestone boulder belt buckle clasp that truly differentiates it. And then the rest of the belt is velvet. So that kind of instantly draws your eye with the buckle, but then having that interesting sort of texture to the black part of the belt truly makes it stand out and look a little bit different. The other thing you can look for is belts that overall around the waistband have um, some metallic features or interesting designs. So you can look for animal skin or you can look for pieces that have clasps or closures throughout the belt that are metallic and those truly stand out in your outfit as well. Or you can go bolder and there's lots of plaid belts that are out there. Um, there's animal print belts, so leopard is very big. There's zebra belts, different types that kind of draw the eye um, when you put that on. So in terms of summertime, my favorite thing to do is think about sunglasses, but really wearing them as your accessory piece for your outfit. So for example, this is a pair of sunglasses that I was gifted from uh, Morgenthau Fredericks and really it kind of changes instantly and really makes your outfit stand out and look a little bit different. So I can wear them and then I can also think about putting them on top of my head which makes it kind of pop and draw the eye up towards your face. The other thing that you can do is think about if you have a dress or a v-neck or a certain style, style top that you can kind of put that in your v-neck or in your blouse collar and kind of use that to sort of draw your eye downward, which lengthens your body. But that interesting sunglass truly is what pops and makes that statement. So think about going beyond just your normal, typical metallics, but choosing instead something that has more of some interesting design details and colors to it. The next thing is that each outfit that you wear should have three, at least three pieces. So think about that in terms of if you're wearing just a top or a sweater and jeans or maybe you have on a blouse and skirt or a blouse and pants, it kind of really looks basic. 
and there's nothing interesting that draws the eye because you're simply wearing two pieces. So instead, if you add a piece, such as a bomber jacket, you can add an oversized blazer, you can add a cape onto an outfit. You can add your hats on, which we were just talking about. Or think about what else are you adding to make it interesting to look at. So you can add a vest over top. Something else that makes your outfit stand out and look a little bit different by simply adding that extra piece. Not necessarily your accessory, which I'll add later, but thinking about every outfit should have three pieces, and by that we mean three clothing items beyond your shoes and then your jewelry and accessories. So think about how that can really make a statement by wearing at least three pieces. So for example, what I did today in my outfit is I have on a striped blazer that has some embellishment, different things on it, which I love, but then I added a textured piece underneath of it. So this is actually a mesh woven sweater. It's very thin, great for layering, but having that interesting mesh detail makes it stand out and look a little bit different. So just by adding that extra piece underneath of it, instead of just a blazer and jeans or just a basic top, and jeans really makes your outfit stand out and look a little bit different. So think about what's your third piece going to be in any outfit. It also doesn't always have to be a layering piece, so it doesn't have to be a jacket or a vest or something you put on, particularly if you live in a warm weather climate or if you are vacationing somewhere or it's summertime, wherever you're located. So instead, you can add a sheer oversized blouse and you can put that over top of a fitted dress, which really looks modern and chic. Or you can do an oversized blouse and layer that with a cropped or fitted sweater over top of it. That really has that exaggerated length, but really looks more interesting just simply by having two top pieces together of different lengths and sizes. Draws the eye more and makes it look interesting. So the next thing is we really want to be elevating and changing up your shoe game. So a lot of people tend to wear neutral shoes, skin tone colors, or they wear grays, navies, black flats, or black boots, kind of sticking to the basics. Or maybe if you're a brown person, you stick to browns and camel colors. But that doesn't really catch the eye and make a dramatic statement to your outfits. We really want your shoes to be changing up your look and really be seen as a piece of your outfit instead of just something you're wearing to have shoes on your feet. So instead, think about adding some shoes that have different types of embellishment, for example. They have interesting textures or weaves. You can look for things that have um, zippers or buckles on them. Always a great option. So for example, I have this pair of black boots, which I love, and I'll give you the details about who the maker is down below. Um, but they have these interesting heels, and that's really what these embellished, it has beading all over the heel, really gives it sort of that cool, different, unique design detail simply by wearing a black boot, but it's got a little extra bling, a little something different. And instead of choosing um, a basic black flat, for example, you can do a printed fabric um, or printed leather, which is very common. There's lots of newsprints, different graphic design prints that you can go for, which make your shoes stand out. And of course, we always love an animal print or a leopard print, which is great. Um, or you can look for flats that have some interesting sort of design details. So these, for example, have a face on the front of it. They have different colors and textures all on the shoe, which really makes it stand out and look a little bit more interesting than just wearing a basic black flat. The next thing you want to do is to think about what do you put on that will be your pop piece in an outfit. So by pop piece, what I want you to do is to close your eyes once you're fully dressed and ready to go, and then open your eyes again standing in front of a long mirror. And I want your eyes to see where your eyes travel. Do they go head to toe and stop at one particular point in your face or something in your outfit? Or do your eyes just kind of wander up and down? 
If your eyes are wandering, it means you don't have a pop piece or some type of piece or something on, an element in your outfit that really stands out and looks different and unique that draws your eye inward. So ideally, having something where you have, for example, a statement necklace that draws your eye or interesting bold color earrings which draw your eye. Can be cocktail rings, belts, different types of shoes that can draw your eye. Um, hats are great to bring your eye upward towards your face. Again, anything that kind of stands out. So ideally, what you wanna do is close your eyes, wait about 10 seconds, Open them up again and look head to toe in your outfit and see do your eyes are they drawn to one particular piece that would be your pop piece that makes your outfit stand out and look unique and eye capturing and interesting. That completely differentiates your look and changes up from what everybody else has on and what everybody else is wearing. Kind of makes you stand out and be memorable just simply by what you're wearing. So we hope these four tips really truly helped you to look your best and to really elevate your style game with these simple tips and tricks. In the links below in the box, you'll be able to download um, our ultimate wardrobe checklist for women to see what you should have in your closet, how to build your basics, and what key essentials every wardrobe should have. And then you can also sign up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, making sure that you get all of our client makeovers, our interviews that we do with designers and new brands that are coming out, and all of our fashion videos and tips for women and for men that we broadcast. So don't forget to subscribe below. And then also you'll be able to shop my outfit and other pieces that I showed you today in the box. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.